Hello again, Professor Watson here. Today we will learn what features to look for in a server class UPS. To help us plan for the future, I have adopted this cutting edge contraption for today's lesson, selecting the right server class UPS. First, not all UPSs are created equal. A desktop UPS is good for protecting your desktop, but may not be able to handle larger equipment loads. In today's world, as equipment is frequently added, you run the risk of overloading your UPS. However, with a server class UPS, you can accurately determine how much equipment can safely be added based on the load percentage information displayed on the LCD menu or through a web card. Uh -huh. Is, uh, there, just right. Second, as your equipment load goes up, so will your battery usage. So choose a UPS that can accept external battery modules. These provide extra stored energy for longer runtime. Since batteries are simply stored energy, adding more of them will not increase capacity. One more reason to plan for future growth and buy the right size UPS up front. Oh, blast. <laughs> Terribly sorry. Lastly, you can boost runtime by better managing equipment shutdown. By using a UPS with load segments, you can turn off non-critical devices to extend runtime and remotely cycle power to frozen servers and switches for easier IT management. Keep these criteria in mind and you'll choose the right UPS for your needs. For more advice, here's an exemplary guide to UPS selection. Until next time!